Shalom everyone, God bless you. This is Simone, uh, Victoria Simone uh, with, with uh, Trinity of Love Ministries. Hope you're all doing well. It's just a quick word. The Lord wanted me to release and an encouragement. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's, you know, because the Lord is saying he's heard, your, he's heard your heart cry, right? Remember me, O Lord. Remember me, O Lord. But he wanted to remind you also, hallelujah, that the blessings of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Hallelujah. Right? And what does he mean when he's saying that? Is that to remember that you are rich in Jesus Christ. You are rich in him. You are rich in his spirit, in his favor. Hallelujah. And to remember the Matthew 6 and 33, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Meaning everything that you do will increase. Everything that you do will have the hand of God upon it in it. And he's already upon you once you come to Jesus Christ. We know that. But for the remnant, he's saying that He's heard your cry of remember me, O Lord. Hallelujah. And he's saying, as you remember him, hallelujah, right? This is a reminder and encouragement to realize, right? Remember to keep him in the morning hour, those, those times he wakes you up. Or just remembering to keep your schedule, right? Your morning prayer time, your evening prayer, hallelujah. And this is a powerful time and a season. God is saying, do not forget the former, you know, forget the former things, but do not forget him, right? Do not forget the things he's taught you in the wilderness, in the transition. And for some of you, you're still in that transition, but he's establishing you in this season. Hallelujah. So he's saying to hold on. Hallelujah. Right. He said he's heard your prayer, your cry of remember me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you for your encouragement. We thank you that you are blessing your people as you wake them up day after day after day as you you continue to bless them as you continue to heal them in their bodies in their spirits in the mighty name of jesus the lord is saying that he has heard your cry he's heard your your prayer to remember you he's heard you he's saying hallelujah he has not forgotten you in the mighty name of jesus and he's saying as you keep me first as you keep me as the center as you focus hallelujah as you focus in the mighty name of Jesus, he will continue to pour out in your spirit first. That's where it all begins. That's what I teach on the channel all the time. Hallelujah. Right. And he, he, he brought me to Ezekiel chapter 19. Uh, sorry, Ezekiel 20, right, first of uh, verse 19, and it says, I am the Lord your God. Walk in my statutes and keep my judgments and do them. Hallelujah. And hollow my Sabbaths hollow my sabbaths meaning keep them holy remember the lord right friday to saturday or whenever sunday whatever the lord has led you but for me i know he always sits me down friday evening to saturday right the whole day or part of the day even right if i can't do it he he honors the time you give him but then every day right every day is a sabbath with the lord right? and this is the hour he's giving his children rest hallelujah even as you do the work the, the work of your hands the things he's given you hallelujah right and he said and hallow my sabbath and they shall be a sign between me and you and that ye may know that i am the lord your god hallelujah and that's ezekiel chapter 20 verse 19 and he also wanted me to read ezekiel chapter 20 verse 5 to 6 and it says and say unto them thus saith the lord god in the day when i choose israel he's saying remember that i've chosen you you did not choose so he's going to walk you through whatever season you were in in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah i chose israel and lifted up mine hand onto the seed of the house of jacob and he was specifically over the last couple of days talking to me about jacob's right that you are that he's going to continue to that that you wrestled like with the angel you wrestled for him to bless you and you stayed in that secret place and he's saying now you shall see it hallelujah right that the hand of god is upon the house of jacob hallelujah and made myself known unto them in the land of egypt right in the dry place in that place but even in the dry place he can make your wilderness overflow he can turn your wilderness the desert into a place of abundance of 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 overflow right and and giving you the quail the manna and as he brings you out into your place into the promised land hallelujah for whatever season you are in he's saying even in the promised land sometimes it can feel like a pockets of wilderness and god saying don't look at that continue to praise and worship me because the enemy is trying to distract you so keep your eye on me says the living god again the, the matthew 6 and 33 right the, so back to ezekiel uh, chapter 20 verse 5 right mine hand is upon the house of jacob onto the seed of the house of jacob 
and mine and made myself known unto them in the land of Egypt, right? God himself has come to us time and time again. He loves you. He loves you so much. Hallelujah. He has no favor. You are his favorite, right? He, he loves all his children. Hallelujah. And he will come to you in the darkest hour. Hallelujah. In, uh, in the land of Egypt, when I lifted up mine hand unto them, saying, I am the Lord your God. In verse 6, in the day that I lifted up my hand unto them to bring them forth to of bring them forth of the land, meaning he's bringing you out of Egypt, hallelujah, into a land that I have espied, like he's seen, right? He's created a place for them, for you, flowing with milk and honey, which is the glory of all the lands, hallelujah. That's verse 6 of chapter 20 in Ezekiel. He's saying he's bringing you into a place flowing with milk and honey. Hallelujah. Right. You've been in that long wilderness. Some of you in transition. Right. And he's brought you out into your promised land. But the enemy was trying to distract you, trying to bring warfare to make you think, oh, this is it. God's saying this is it. Right. But just like with David, there were giants in the land and God had to test you, prune you to say you can withstand this because the spirit of the living God is inside you. You know how to do battle in the spirit of the living God. Do that and rest in me. Right. Rest in me, meaning come to him when he says come to him daily in your prayer time in the evening right sometimes some seasons it, it and he shifts the 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 what we call the first watch right second watch third watch right that's 12 o'clock at night that for some of you that's three that's four or five just, just following the leading of the holy spirit but always the matthew 16 33 if you seek him in the morning continually and as you just he wants a desire that that's the whole thing of this word he said too right that you, he's heard your prayer of remember me, O Lord. And number one, he always comes by his Holy Spirit that he is re remembering you and he's going to refresh and renew your spirit so you can move forward. Holy and that he can, yes, bless the work of your hands and the things he's given you to do and that he will align you to see and hear the instructions he's given you. Hallelujah. Right. But he also said, I want you to remember that the blessings of the Lord make it rich and addeth no sorrow, meaning all right, don't allow the enemy, even when you see the warfare, praise, worship, and see what the enemy is doing and move past it, right? Thank the Lord. Stay in a posture of thankfulness, of gratitude. Hallelujah, right? Bless your enemies, right? We speak life and not death. Hallelujah, right? Where the power of life and death is in our, our tongue, in our mouth. And God is saying that, uh, yes, I'm removing the enemy. I'm moving and shifting everything that is coming against you, right? Any envy, any jealousy, any warfare, anything. God's like, just stay in my presence. And he's removing all of those things because he wants to, to stay in that secret place with you even as you move throughout your day. Hallelujah. Right? That is the desire of our Lord to have continual communion with you daily. And a lot of you know this. It's just like me. He speaks to you all day. You know, and, and when you make room for the Lord, he will make room for you. Hallelujah. He, I'm going to say it again. When you make room for the Lord, he will make room for you. Because if you're so filled up with other things, with concerns, with worries of life, then you can't hear him. That's why he's saying, come to me, right? And seek me, especially early. Continue to do that. And he will bless you. He will fill your spirit. He will renew you. And you're going to see things shift swiftly in the mighty name of Jesus. For the Father is saying, just remember that he is this is a powerful season and time for the remnant he is removing the wicked you're seeing judgments left and right right and you're seeing things that are shifting and shaking because they have to because god is positioning he's already done it right he just wants you to walk it out to continue to rule and reign because he's saying as he's been saying this is just the beginning beloved this is just the beginning and everything he's promised you in your dream life in your waking life as he's spoken to you it's still here it's still birthing forth hallelujah Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, right? Our God is, is a mighty God. He's a big God. He's El Shaddai, right? He is more than enough. He is more than enough. He's saying he is more than enough. Remember that, says the living God. Hallelujah. Remember that. Hallelujah. So God bless you guys. I love you. The Lord loves you most of all. And he's saying he's heard your prayers. He's heard your cries to remember you. And he has and he does. And he's saying come to him all who were weary and laid and burdened and he will give you rest hallelujah he will give you rest release unto him at the altar that that sweet place when you just commune and you sing you worship with the lord hallelujah 
it's the best place to be because from that place like i always say on this channel it's, it just releases a burst in in your life and the people's lives around you holy so that you can continue to be a blessing right so god bless you guys i love you i plead the blood of jesus over your mind body and spirit uh continue to send in your prayer requests like i, I always say i have the link for that if those who um want to support the ministry in the channel uh please do so the link is also below or you can go to trinityofloveministries.org god bless you guys i always pray over everything and just i just want to thank you guys because like i said for the the faithful few that do so it's a blessing and i get to be able to sow into other people as well when i can and so i want to increase that on this channel so the lord's moving me um you know to continue to do that and to to do more so i can even do some prayer things with you guys live as well or uh, on zoom so uh just just know that that's something in in the works for for this year and i'm excited to do that because i've been wanting to but the lord just wants to encourage you to bless you and to know that he loves you beyond measure and no matter what it looks like beloved ch <laughs> children of god this is the season for the remnant to rise to continue to step out he's like come out of the den come out of the lion's den it's it's no longer holding you so stop a lot of it's in your mind now god's like no it's no longer holding you hallelujah so come up higher in the spirit and he will show you the truth hallelujah so god bless you guys i love you the lord loves you most of all and i'll see you soon shalom